When we got our first MRI back, that was terrifying. It basically showed that Sophia had delayed myelination in her brain. After about four or five MRIs, the geneticist finally says, look guys, we've tested for just about everything there is to be known. So I would suggest genome sequencing. What is the power of a diagnosis? For families struggling with an undiagnosed disease, it's everything. A diagnosis is the beginning of understanding, a community, a path to action. But now, unlocking the answers to rare and genetic disease is no longer a hopeful ideal. We've harnessed the technology and science of tomorrow, and we're putting it to work for you today, giving you the full power of genome sequencing. Previously, you had to work within a limited framework when trying to solve difficult genetic puzzles. But limitations are a thing of the past. Now, you can use a whole genome approach to search for an answer. At this view, you can trace and identify rare genetic diseases faster and look deeper than ever before. My favorite part of my job is kind of like playing investigator. When your sequencing file is ready, the data pops up. I can configure a few things, and then all of a sudden, one of them really sticks out, and I say, oh, that's got to be it. Our diagnostic tools are opening up new paths to understanding and meaningful action. I feel like finding a diagnosis for me has been life-changing and eye-opening, and it's always important to find your tribe, find a community, find your support system, live life, get engaged with those around you, and give your child the best possible life that they can have. For all of us committed to the relentless pursuit of a diagnosis when it seems there are no answers, we now have the means to uncover the deepest secrets of the genome, to bring hidden knowledge to light. And that is a powerful thing.